Today, we looked at representing decimals in expanded form. So we know when we look at expanded form for a number such as 317, that's 300 plus 10 plus 7. Because I have 300s, 110, 7 ones. 300 plus 10 plus 7 equals 317. Or I could write it like this, 3 times 100 plus 1 times 10 plus 7. Now, you can do the same thing with decimals. So, if I'm looking at... If I'm looking at the number... Three hundred, uh, three hundred twenty-one thousandths. To write it in expanded form, I have three tenths plus two hundredths plus. One thousandth. Let's take a look at another one. How would I write if I had the number four hundred twenty eight thousandths as an expanded decimal? I would have four tenths plus two hundredths plus eight thousandths, and that's how it would equal. So let's take a look at your homework. We're just going to focus on the top. I'm going to blow it up nice and big so we can focus on 1 through 4 first. And then I'll do another page for 5 through 8. It says, numbers can be written in standard notation or expanded form. When numbers are written in expanded form, the value of each digit is clearly shown. So remember, standard notation, let's highlight that. Standard notation or expanded form is the value of each digit. The number... 3 and 924 thousandths is written in standard notation. The examples below show 3, three and 924 thousandths using different versions of expanded form. So again, standard notation is how we write numbers normally. Expanded form shows the value of each digit clearly. So, 1 through 4, let's do, we'll do 1 and 2 together, then you do 3 and 4 on your own. So 1, if I'm going to write that in expanded form, let's say I wanted to write it just using, I would just use digits. So I would do a 0, decimal place, 5, plus 0, decimal place, 0, 7, plus zero decimal point zero zero one just like when we ex write expanded form for numbers like 421 if I'm just looking at the four how many zeros do I have to put underlined in purple two zeros because I'm just looking at the f how many hundreds I have four hundreds so four hundred plus then I would have two one two tens and one one now, I can also write it as in words or in fractions or as multiplication problems. So, if I wrote number 2 as, what if I did it like this? I could do 4 times 1 because I'm in the 1 spot 
plus 2 times 1 tenth because to get a decimal I have to put it over a fraction plus 0 times 1 hundredth plus 3 times 1 over 1,000. I just wanted to show you different ways to do it. You are more than welcome if, if the way I did number 1 is the easiest way to do it. Can do that for the rest of them. If you like the way I did number 2, you can do it that way. If you want to write the words, be my guest. So now let's look at 5 through 8. So let me pull up our picture again. Turn it around. Okay, so it says, in problems 5 through 8, an expanded form of a decimal is given. Write the decimal in standard notation. So, we're going to do, I'm going to do 5 and 7 for you. So, 5 says I have 9 ones plus 5 tenths plus 7 hundredths plus 0 thousandths. So I just went right through. Now you're not always going to have a one or a tenth or a hundredth or a thousandth. So let's look at number seven. Do I have anything times one? No. So I'm going to write a zero times, or decimal point, I'm sorry, zero decimal point. Then it's five times one tenth, meaning my five goes in my tenth spot. So tenths. 8 times 100, 1 over 100, so 8 times a hundredth, so hundredths. And then my 9 is my thousandths because our denominator or the bottom part of our fraction tells us what place value for a decimal we are going to put our number or our digit, I should say. 9 and 10 are practice. Um using fractions of a of a number. 